My name is Freddy Lanzil, and I'm a trombonist, and I perform at Preservation Hall. Today we're going to speak a little bit about the trombone and the role in, in New Orleans jazz. In the beginning, trombone players had a kind of a, a certain role, and it's called uh, tailgating. And the, the most famous person, the most exponent person of that particular style is none other than Kid Ory. And he's a, a musician who I sort of pattern myself behind. And here we go. I'm a, right now, I'm going to do a number um, called uh, the Tailgate Ramble. So this is kind of the introduction, you know, and it goes something like this. kind of like the, the lower voice of, of the front line. So, and the trombone has a, a lot, a lot of freedom because he can play harmonies with the other two instruments. He can also play um, what we call riffs or accents through the music. I guess I'm kind of like the sound effects. I feel in a lot of the uh, open spaces between the other two horns. And also, Rhythmically, I'm sort of listening to what's going on with the drummer. I'm also playing notes uh, similar to with the basses, or either the idea of, of the bass. So it's, I have a lot of freedom, you know, to, 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 there's a lot of glissandos, and glissandos are things like this. If I was playing uh, that particular song, the tailgate Rambo, of uh, the melody. I could probably play a little bit of the melody. So I'll go back to the introduction to this, all right? <laughs> So that's kind of the trumpet player would sort of be carrying that theme, and the, and the clarinetist would be kind of doing something. So the clarinet player is sort of playing around the melody of the trumpet player. The other part is the part for the tailgating, which probably I'll be doing. So I would do this. Ah. 